This video will look at the new Eventbrite workspaces. These workspaces create a more task-centric experience, making features like marketing, reporting, and finance across your entire account easier to navigate. Using these workspaces helps you to find everything you need in one spot versus going to account settings or jumping between events, making it a lot easier to manage multiple events at one time. There is also a new navigation added to help you work seamlessly between these workspaces. You log into your Eventbrite account as normal and start in the events workspace where you can view specific events and manage collections. On a desktop, icons are on the left navigation. They take you to workspaces to manage events, orders, marketing, reports, finance, and organization settings. On the bottom left are options to view our app marketplace and the help center. If you are on a mobile device, there is a nine square button to view all the workspace options. There are tabs in each workspace to view the different pages within the workspace. If you don't have permission to view and navigate to the workspace, the icon will be visible to you, but a message will display to request access from the account owner or administrator. Let's look at the account dropdown first. You will see the options to switch to attending, which takes you to the event search page, your personal account settings, and the option to log out. Your organization settings are now located in the organization workspace that you will reach from the new navigation here. Your organization settings workspace holds your organizer details and is where you add and edit your public organizer profiles. If you are part of multiple organizations, the ability to switch between those organizations is now in this workspace. This option only shows if you have multiple organizations. Click the team management tab to add additional users and customize roles. The package tab allows you to adjust your Eventbrite account package. The App Extension tab lists any active extensions your organization is using, like Eventbrite Boost, Zapier, MailChimp, etc. Next, let's click on the Events Workspace. This page should look pretty familiar with options to view events, collections, filter your event list, and of course, create a new event. When you are viewing an event and want to return to the event workspace, you can either click the event workspace icon on the left or use the event link in the top left of the event menu. Now let's look at the next workspace on the navigation, which is orders. Use the orders workspace to search for orders placed in the last 12 months across all the events in your organization. Using an order number, email, or name, you can seamlessly search for orders from all live or past events, making it easier to find the info you need and complete quick tasks like resending a confirmation or refunding an order. The marketing workspace is your hub for all of your event marketing. This workspace makes it easier for multi-event marketing campaigns and viewing all of your insights in one central location on the dashboard. There are tabs for email campaigns, Facebook events, ad campaigns, Instagram growth, and your settings. Now, let's look at the reports workspace. Report types are organized by category with descriptions that tell you exactly what information is contained on the report. There are tabs to view your saved reports so you do not need to customize a report each time you pull it. Under your Schedule Reports tab, you can schedule up to 10 reports so you can set it and forget it, receiving all of the information you need about active events. We have also moved Event Analytics to this workspace, making it more seamless to view event trends for all of your events. One of the biggest changes we made with the new navigation is the Finance Workspace. The Finance Workspace is more accessible and makes financial information a lot easier to gather and dissect. The workspace includes tabs for payouts, charges, credits, invoices, tax information, payout methods, and attendee credits. And that's it! For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, sign up for an interactive Eventbrite Academy or visit our Help Center, blog, or YouTube channel.